Hi, this is Mike. Welcome to Refab. Moving along on my drive-by-wire project, I'm going to make the uh, BST7960 motor control work with the ESP32. I couldn't find any videos on how to do it, so I'm making this one. Now keep in mind, I am new to the coating, so what I did here may not be the best way or the only way, but it's how I figured out how to do it. In my future videos, I'm going to stay away from electronics and try to focus more on the fabrication and the mechanical stuff. Now this is the wiring directions that came with the BST7960. Pause the screen if you need to. I use method one. You send five volts to the enable pins and to one of the PWM pins. You can make it go. If you want to control the speed using the mic controller, you're going to need a PWM signal, which is three lines LEDC setup, LEDC attach, LEDC write. On LEDC setup, we are setting the variables for the channel. On channel 0 to 15, it makes sense to start with 0, channel 0, then work your way up as you add channels. But if you're running a servo library, you're better off starting with 15 and working backwards down to 0 because the uh, servo library will start at zero. And you were both claiming channel zero. The sketch won't work right. It does strange things. Now for frequency, it can be any number, but it's typically between 1,000 and 5,000. If the number's too low, the output will be choppy. If the number's too high, it just adds extra load to your controller and could burn it out earlier. And there's resolution. The PWM controls are typically 255 for, for the speed control, so we're going to the eight. With LED attached, we assign a pin to the channel. This is the only time we refer to the pin. From now on, we'll refer to the channel. To output the signal, we use LEDC right with the channel and the value, with the value being based on the resolution we picked earlier. In this case, resolution 8 and 0 to 255. Yeah, here's a simple sketch. The one on the left, I assigned a title or a name to the variables. And the one on the right, I added the variables indirectly. This will make the motor go one direction at full speed. I included a link to three sketches. One with a potentiometer, a second one with buttons, and a third one with the PlayStation 3 controller. I'm not going over the sketches in detail. I tried to comment the air loving bejesus out of them. Here under motor control, you dictate the variables direction and speed. Down here where I'm writing the motor, first we're writing, we're writing zero to the channel opposite of the one we're trying to drive. Then we're actually driving the channel we want to. Hmm. If you're writing a speed value, both channels at the same time, you might burn up your motor driver. All right, here we go with the buttons. I did have to use pull down resistors with the buttons for this to work right, but. Forward, reverse. Stop. Forward. Reverse. Here I go with the PlayStation controller. The servo needs its own power supply because the ESP32 is only 3.3 .3 volts. The Servo needs five. You get the link to ground in the servo power supply on the ground on the ESP32. This pot will be mounted on the motor so I can use it as a servo later. That's all for this video. Please subscribe and like and share.